Yo. Yo, 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 row your row your row your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Y'all can't hear me. Hey, can y'all can y'all hear me? If you can hear me, say yes. Okay, yes, audio is good. So the people in there saying no audio, get the up out of here. Y'all the people that I don't like. You just come over here just to be disturbing me, man. Come on, don't do that. Don't. I already have enough problem with streaming. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not a, a, a expert at streaming. I'm not an expert at this stuff. So when I do stream, it's it's pretty it's pretty damn hard for me. You know what I'm saying? So when I ask the question, can y'all see the screen? Can you hear me? I just ask for an honest opinion. You know, I know people are going to spam and do all kind of stuff just to be a nuisance and shit, man. But that's, I mean, if you just want to be a, a person that does that, you know, be an idiot, man, then be one. You know what I'm saying? Fresh drip was good, man. I'm trying to get an early start um, with this today. I've been, um, I've been, um, um, I've been working real hard, man, for the last two weeks, and um, I haven't been having no time to um to stream. You know, I miss y'all, man, and I know y'all probably miss me doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, now see, see, I gotta get the screen up, so. It's just so difficult when I'm doing this stuff. It's like, I wasn't having this problem at first. It's like, it takes a moment for the screen to pop up and I don't know why. I don't know why the delay on there for the screen to pop up. I don't know what's going on. Um, trying to see. I'm also, I'm also in my Discord right now. Um, um, getting ready to to launch my um my server. Franklin's world. Um, we doing our last testing before we launch it. But um, but yeah um, I don't know why the screen is not popping up. Let me see some. Hold on. Let me see some. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully we 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 fall right into we fall right into where we need to fall into. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, 
hopefully, man. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we ain't got to start over again, man. I don't want to do this stuff again and again and again, man. Ah, I hope it's... Ah, yeah, hold on. Okay, let's. Hey, but I'm glad y'all. I'm glad y'all hanging out with your boy today, man. I'm glad y'all came to hang out with me, cause I haven't been able to stream in about a week, week and a half, two weeks. So now that I'm back, let's go. Let's do this, man. Hey, Fresh Drip, man, you good? That's my moderator, man, Fresh Drip. He, he, you know, always come through here and look out for me, man, and I appreciate you. I really do. Oh, shit. See, I let you know I've been, I've been off for a couple weeks, man. I, I feel like I'm punch drunk. Hey, which one is this? I can't remember what number is this, man. This is playthrough. What number is this? Is this 12 or 13? I can't remember. Which playthrough is this, y'all? Help me out. So I know. I'll go back and I'll edit it. going on oh just enjoying a little labor dispute see we're about to do something really really bad so i need to present myself as a proper textile magnet so, so you stop making anything nothing looks more suspicious in america than someone who's actually prepared to make something <laughs> 13 okay what about you oh pocket trevor we're having some problems brad what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail, and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't? We're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester. What's up, Curly? Good luck. How you doing, Curly? Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. 
So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. Is there a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. Found a guy about to clock off. Uh, got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. You know, we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. He should be coming out here soon. Man, my neck been killing me today. Uh, not our guy. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Jermaine Miller, what's up? Hey, y'all, we gonna go crazy when I go when I go online, man. Ooh, what's this? Nope. So what do we do? When I go online, we do the job. We're gonna Maybe go crazy. You can the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Here we go. That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. I mean, we need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. Oh, the collab with Speed, man. That's that's something I gotta really think about, man. The speed is crazy, man. There she is. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. Speed ass is crazy, man. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. Yeah, speed ass is crazy, man. Speed is a fucking nut. I think me and Ned gonna stream real real soon. I think I just wanna finish up this right now so me and him can stream doing something like different. Something new. Since he already streamed through uh GTA 5, you know. Hey, happy birthday, Alex. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, speed ass is crazy. That little dude, man. <laughs> man. I don't know if I'm ready for his energy. He's something else. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only once you need something. You got another one of those, Harvey? Well, who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. You fill your pockets with money, all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. Hello? That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bay, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm going to find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. He's already here. Yeah, I'm already here, man. Bring your old cripple ass upstairs. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking hates. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dying bad. If the bullets come cracking at your ass either way, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one.
Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere. I'm gonna need paper copies. You know, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Find the architect? Why am I still doing the grunt work? Oh shit, now I gotta go back to, to Michael, huh? Fuck the car go. Hey, do I go back to Franklin or or what? What do I do? Do I go back to Franklin or Trevor or what? What do I do? Is that better? Is the sound better right there, fresh fresh drip? Hey, what do I do? How do I get back? Do I do I go back to Mike Mike's house? Why the car leave? That's stupid. Fucking Christ! Ah. I'm gonna be using your car. Ah.
Watching him. I don't want to watch him. Hey. But. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just. I get so mad and I can't control things. And then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now. And I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just. Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. Shut and, up. And secondly, Jimmy. I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, What's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can Popcorn. take a fucking hit. Let's go. Popcorn. Get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... There they are, outside. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Guess we better walk up to him. Caffeine, come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please? Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, yet. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what, what are you uh, uh, I, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, man. <clears throat> hey, did y'all ever notice how the the lady, the the female that said, um, I had some very good work there, you prick. She sounded just like Tracy. 
Message. I wanted to, I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he is a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say- Shut up! Uh, I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. I, 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 All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh God, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Here's the tattoo shop. I'm gonna spend half my day in traffic on the Legion Fields Freeway. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe. If you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna get me up. Ah, oh, you fucking prick! Jesus! Ow! Oh, just when I thought I was bigger than radio. Jesus! Ah. Oh, makeup is gonna have a. F ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah! Ugh. Ah! Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Ah! Let's not get him involved. Ah! Let's do. I always thought tramp stamps could be classy. Ah! ah let me get to work. Ah! Ugh. Look, I, I didn't mean it. I, uh... I said I needed security. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah. Uh. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh. you over the head with it. That's better. Oh, uh. 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 Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. You fucking asshole, I'm a celebrity. Oh, oh no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean... I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy. My pony. 
How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine back. To be honest, I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're, like, finally, like, using your powers of selfishness and rage for, like, good. Not an objective universal good. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! Ha. Do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, do it. it! Do, do it. it! Enough! Shut up! They shouldn't let old people drive cars. Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey. How about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at least for the meantime. Thank you. You're a danger to yourself and others. Weehaw! Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Harvey Amanda. Quinn, I've got a question. Good to see you again. Harvey Quinn, I've got a question. Interview, in interview you talked about God. My question is, what's your testimony on how God has changed your life for good? God bless you. Man, um, Harvey Quinn, you must have not been watching my live streams or you must have not gotten this book game changer my book this book tells about my my um testimony on how uh things have changed in my life for the way better um this book tells it all from from a kid to now to a few years ago but I've been through a lot, and I spent a lot of times talking about it right now. And also, you can um, you can go on my you can go on my YouTube Har Harvey Quinn and um, and look at my interview. I have a interview part one of my interview, and start talking about where I came from and the things I've been through. So, um, go check it out. That was a good good question, and I'm um, I'm I'm glad to have answered it. But I've been through a lot. I've been through hell and back, I think. So, um, I've I've always had faith, but I always question my faith. Um, like, you know, cause things still happen, and um, sometimes things happens for a reason. Um, I just accepted what I've been through, but then I accepted what I'm going through right now. So, yeah, I've been through a lot. But yeah, check, order the book, Game Changer, Harvey Quinn, or you can look at my last interview that I did. It's an interview with me and my daughter that I did on here, and I'm talking about my mental um, problems and some of the things that I've been through. Okay, so appreciate the, the question. Thank you, thank you. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. 
You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? <laughs> no way. We'll both get a center. <laughs> that ever you are such a fucking. Hey, man. <laughs> You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever hey. it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Hey there, Thanks. ladies. And no more hookers. How are you guys Another doing? Way. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so All right, get in the car. Come on. In. Get in a car, Tracy. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? <laughs> Kids, room. <laughs> if you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. <laughs> I thought I'd give y'all something to laugh at, man. <laughs> standing again
Yeah, I've watched the interview and I should get back, get the book. I was asking because I've been through. Oh, hold on, let me see this. Okay, what you say? Yeah, I've watched it. I've been asking because I've been through hell and back too. I was blessed with with Caesars two years ago. And God has shown me a lot through that. Oh man. Sorry to hear that, man. I'm well, I'm glad you're doing well now, Harvey. I'm so glad you're doing super well. And thanks again. Um, but um man, I really appreciate that you you opened up about that. Um yeah, please get my book. Please. I mean it's not easy going through things in life, you know, especially as a young person. You 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 just don't want to go through things and 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 as at a young age because it affects you when you get older. Um, but yeah, please get my book and read it and I hope you find some some clarity and some some openness to a better life. I'm glad that you're doing better. But um just hang around more positive people. Um, try to smile as much as you can, man. That's that helps a lot. Try to be as happy as you can all the time. Anytime something negative or something wrong comes into your life or around you, or you feel like something is is taking you in a in a bad direction, um, instantly, just instantly, find something that you could do that 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 takes you from that. Like walk away from it, you know. You can sense when bad things or bad people are around you. Just get away from them. I got this this thing that I do that helps me through things. Is I take clothes, like a shirt. It can be something. It has to feel a certain way, and I would do this. This is all I would do, and this will put me in a. It's a like a sedative mode, like. A natural it just feels good to me doing this like rubbing something like this and it takes me from thinking it just I don't know what it does but it helps me a lot it's like a, a therapeutic like uh, how am I trying to say this it's, it's just something that just helps me through anything like if I'm trying to go to sleep I can do this if I'm in deep thought I can do this if I'm thinking something and some bad thoughts or bad people around me. I um, knock on wood just to get it out. Whatever you could do that makes you feel good to take you from any bad situation, do it. The things that you've been through, you don't need no one around you that are negative. You don't need no one around you that 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 does things that that conjure up negative or bad bad thoughts. So. Um, you know, these are mental problems that we all have, but some of us take them on pretty, pretty rough. You know what I'm saying? Because not all of us had a great childhood or some of us did have a great childhood, but other things affect us, you know, in that good childhood. So, yeah, just find peace with yourself. But please get my book and read it. I promise you, you're going to find some good in it because um, I've been through it, too. So I feel you, I pray with you, I pray for you. So hopefully everything opens up and be bright with you. Uh, feel free to ask me anything. Um, I'm here for you. All right. So everybody um, send Harvey Quinn some love, man. Send Harvey Quinn some love. All right. All right. Let me see something real quick. Okay, um, so I need to. I need to Hey Mike, it's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. Alright, don't fuck it up. Alright.
Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall, except the government. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plans. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Hello? I don't know you. I thought I had final approval on a... You must want a black eye! Dispatch to downtown units. Civilians reporting a 245 and Pillbox Hill. Hey, my foot off you, asshole! Suspects fleeing the FTD construction site. Fucking jerk! <laughs> hey, I did that up. <laughs> to not have played this in a long time, man, I did that right there.
Damn, he shot. Well, he shot me in my booty. Man, I got shot in the ass. Ain't that some shit? Where else I get shot at? Oh shit. Oh man, what the hell? Man, shot me in the ass and shot me in the neck and the head and the stomach. What the hell going on? Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security <laughs> software goes into containment mode in Shot. case of emergency. Shot you know, me. Uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or Defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You all. Well, what about the other way, with the, uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Now your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the, uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We... <laughs> so you do want to mop, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a... Hey, which one y'all want? Ninja style or the other, or the other way? Y'all tell me. Which one y'all want? Hey, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Y'all tell me which one y'all want me to do. Hey, what's it gonna be, Em? Hey, M, Lester asked you something. I guess he's really thinking about this one. Hey, Michael, you're up. Hey, give me one second, man. I have to, uh, I have to call this, uh, 
this um this guy bought my car. Hey, what's it gonna be, M? Ah, uh, you reached John at Stretch of Speed Shop. I'm not able to answer the phone, but this is for business. Hey, M, Lester asked you something. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me one second. No, hey, what's up, Carlos? What's going on? Hey, this uh, this solo, this Sean, man, with the uh convertible '64 that you did. Yes. Hey, they trying to find out. Did you ever test the start? Really because they trying to start, the, like start the car. You know what? I never, I never push the button to start it completely. Uh huh. But I got the ignition to come on. Everything worked until the moment of brake step. You know what the issue might be? Their brake switch. Because um, their brake switch was loose and it kept coming on and off. So it needs to make sure that the, the brake switch is on. Um, and then, uh, um, so you gotta press the brake and uh, um, press and hold the button. And hey, the Michael, brake, you're you know? up. Okay, I'll tell them that. Yeah, but if not, just let me know and I can always go there and, and figure it out, okay? Okay. All right, thanks, man. Yeah. I'll give you a call back. No problem. All right, brother. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, I built, I'm building my car, man. I think I posted it a few times. Um, and um, it's, I made an old, old school car, push button to start car. So. Hey, what's it going to be, M? Okay, we're going to go with B. Okay. Uh, of course. Uh, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. After what went down at the jewelry store, I could definitely take a chance on them again. I don't know how... He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. Okay, that all look good to you. You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. That's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk.
Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Oh, you screwed up my car! Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Oh, no! so you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. We found this brick? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on to you! Let's go! Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! Not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Okay, you around here? Ah, purple car, that's him! Fuck, he's on to you! Let's go! We gotta get him! It's not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. What are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know you Hey, creepo! I'm her father, not a sugar daddy! You've raised a great kid, Mr. Sucks! Very entrepreneurial! I'm sorry this happened to you, baby. There's some real creeps out there. Yeah. Guys who go to strip clubs, use hookers. Hey, 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 that ain't me anymore. She's a lovely young woman. You've done a great job. Yeah, well, it's hard raising kids in this town. Come here, scumbag. You've got to get him, Dad. I can't live like this. What are you living like? I can't go out of the house. I can't go online. Well, then how do you find you on the web? My, um, my fan site, you know. Everything's so connected now, these days. Yeah. He's out of the car. I get it. I'm going. I'll never come back. I'm an addict. I need help. I'm the victim. Ah!
Oh, my controller not working. Oh. Oh my God, you killed him! You killed him! You just killed him! I can't believe it! I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to sp speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. Yes, he really scared me. Scared me, but I, I didn't want. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good, that's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. We've dealt with that crazy. You don't have to drive like a maniac. I'm a little keyed up, okay? I need to wind down. Maybe speeding and hitting people and swerving all over the place isn't the best way to relax. Just saying, hashtag. Maybe it's the quickest way to get somewhere where I can relax. Where? The grave? Death row? I know what I'm doing, baby. Just calm down. I think you're the one who needs to calm down, you maniac. No wonder I need medicating. Thanks, Daddy. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Rock steady, I appreciate it, man. Hello, so you see a long stream. Spent so many few hours playing as Franklin and many more hours throwing a ball for a chop. Peace and love to you. Keep up the great work on your channel. Thanks a lot, Rock Steady. Appreciate it. Everybody show Rock Steady some love, man. Hey, this little car is out of control. me please big man we had a deal we had paperwork hey well, fuck off johnny hey you're a couple real badasses put a beat down on an old man yeah, we don't take that we have a deal hey, with them just about please get those millennial ass wipes a pleasure you fuck what where are you going tough guys I 
guess I didn't make it clear to you at the club. So you beat an old man? Hey, Michael, weak. Hey, here's an old man who might hit back. Come on! told me we had an understanding! I should have whacked you when I had the chance! You 
demented old asshole. Hey man, fuck them. Shit. Try. Keep chasing them around. The hell with Michael. Come on. Michael, we. Ah. Man, I ain't dealing with this no more. Hey man, I don't know how to catch them. Where are you going, tough guys? How, how to catch them, man? Ah. Ah. Hey, how to catch them? Oh shit, my co ah. my controller tripping. Man, I ain't shooting nothing while I'm driving. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, you're throwing me softballs. A rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both. Shut up. I appreciate it, Bill. And G L R G K. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film. B I B B. Last dinosaur in town is about to get I love you too, dog. You Thanks, man. About? Appreciate everything. Well, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors meaning us. It was all in USA. Insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. And in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's... Man, shut up. Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it.
Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. <sighs> Like it is, pal. She's totally flipped. Oh, 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 the plane. Playing chicken? Stop your car! Pull it over already. Stop your car now, Miss Schultz! That man's a murderer! He wants to kill me! On the floor, lady! On the fucking floor! Clear the hangar. Help me! This is the LSP! I think you need some help right now! Move! A madman's coming! Hey, 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 oh, stop. stop! Look out! Ah. Oh. Oh, that was nasty and needless. you got on me? Hey, you got some mess to clean up. Leave me alone. He's been hey, I'm just a witness, okay? I got what I came for. I'm leaving. All this mayhem, nothing to do with me. That's the most you got on me! 
Hey, you got some mess to clean up. Leave me alone. Hey, I'm just a witness, okay? I got what I came for. I'm leaving. what I came for. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, gosh. She's the one behind this.
I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Ah, hello, my friend. Hey, what are you looking so cool, calm, and collected for? I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. Appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to bury in the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. Seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, this is the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day, and in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly, what with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight-talking new, uh, tell-it-like-it-is-reality guy act? Uh-huh. That ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The Internet age. <laughs> the Internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. I think we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score. Well, I... I guess this has all gotta be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Hey, I'm not gonna do the... the... the federal building today. I just jumped in here so I could, um, so I could get back to streaming for a little bit. It's, uh, Agent Steve set up a base of operations yeah, gotta, at the new spot on the Palomino um, Freeway. A meeting at All right, now let's roll on this thing. Three o'clock. Why are you so chipper? Shit, why well, are you so miserable? Let's do this right here first. Thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, but sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich. White Michael. Poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get into shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own hearts. Put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You're a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Poor me. Man, poor, poor me. A drink, nigga. Poor okay. me. Okay. Man, poor me. I a can drink. see. Nigga. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files, Chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you wanna wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it. Fuck you. Honest and angry. This is some of the best mental health work I've done in years. 
Man, it's gonna cost you, homie. Trust me. You gonna pay for that shit. Place is up here. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be waiting. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Waiting on you. This place is with the creeps, Holmes. Same with the Sved pilot. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building calling in updates. I'll be on standby, boss. Hey, here we go, man. This is on. All right, you're Haynes's pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chopper. Ah! You can take us up! I'll get on the stick when you jump! Fuck it, we gonna try to see if we can get it done. Feels weird not having Trevor on the stick. Feels okay to me. He might be a better pilot, but I'm less inclined to kill you in your sleep. See, that ain't what he says. Okay, I'm less inclined to stab you in the face and then do funny things to your corpse. That sounds about right. Hey, everyone, quick pep talk. My friend Franklin here called me out for being an ungrateful prick on the way over here. I have to admit, I've been remiss. Everyone's being paid on this run, except me. But it ain't great money for the crazy target you're drawing on your backs, and there's a good chance this thing won't work at all. I took the job. I knew it was gonna be like that. So, in short, thank you for your efforts. It means a lot to me. I picked you guys out especially for this shit show. So take something from that if you will. There'll be more scores down the road, maybe a big one, and sunnier days ahead. But this is where we are right now. So let's try to survive it and achieve our objectives. We stick together, we might not die. That's what's getting me through this. All right. When you say jump, I'll jump. Might be. Hey! I 
It's locked. I'm setting a charge. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for an occasion. Let's get ready for the security team. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connected to the machine. Yeah, they better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. You're looking for the IP address. That number at the top in the massive numbers in the middle.
Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run bruteforce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. What am I picking? What am I p picking? Okay, looks like we're in. <laughs> Start down and out dot exe, and I'll do the rest from here. I did that shit. <laughs> okay, people, we're rewriting history. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. You hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey! I don't wanna wait on that chopper! Bring it down to the building, be ready to go! Airless confirmed. Approaching the tower. Here they come! Pop these motherfuckers! Get out of here! Agents to our left! Hey, choppers are here! The network ain't down yet! Holding over the FIB HQ! What you hiding, assholes? Look up there! Don't die for this shit, dog! Motherfuckers! Check the doors! What's happening over there? The download isn't finished. Keep holding them off while the process completes. Okay! We've got one constant. Pickup has to be soon. Hey, stay in! Right side of the roof, look out! Come on. FIB Chopper, he's on to us! Clear for takedown! I'm taking fire! I'm hit! I'm hit! Get it! Get it! Round! No! In and out! The pilot signal is totally dead. Fuck! Hey, out! Don't worry, we got a backup plan. Use the harnesses. Repel from a few floors down. You ah, shit! They smoking us out! Smoke bomb! Be cool! Guys, you there? Yeah, go ahead. The helicraft caused extensive damage. The explosion went through a couple of floors. Sprinklers brought the fire under control, but be extremely careful. All right, got it. We know you ain't kosher! Go. Download complete. Get the device. About time. Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Coming through! Get on the floor! Where are you going? Handle this! He'll put two in our backs! Our guns are live! Kid, you're up! Clear the room! Let's go! I got this door! Dude, bought it! Let's move. Oh, my controller tripping again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. I don't know why I keep why I keep doing this, man. 
Oh man. Come on, man. Opening. Here we go. Hey, let's move. Hey, we got a problem up here. Sprinkler system. Can't see anything. Man, can I have to shut it off? Shutting down fire suppression. Add a girl. Whatever we're paying you, you're worth it. Moving! Moving! Come on! Fuck! Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be a... Oh. Oh. No, he didn't make it. Oh, you funny, huh, motherfucker? Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. No, we're too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Fuck! Oh! Open, you cock! I thought you'd be Aaron's! Oh. Keep going! Come on. Oh, I've got my lungs! <coughs> my lungs. <laughs> Let's get out of here! Uh, here we go! We're getting out of here! Following you! We're up there, bitch! Let's go! Let's do this! Hey, let's move! Show us the way, homie! <laughs> Stay with me! You in our way! This way! Run or get clapped! Back down, assholes! Moving! Moving! Stairs, man! Come on! Push, people! Hey, we right behind you, dog. Hey! Get lost! Let's go! There's a way outside. We low enough? Yeah, this'll do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit hey, I'm sorry. I just had to finish it, man. This is it, bro. Once we get past this, I, we get if I can get past it. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Over to the right, dog. Man, it's about every cop in L.S. County on the way. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. An air unit seen you on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, crap! They got a bird! Go! Go! Take out that chopper! You gonna step to me? Fuck! 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 We're coming through! Hey, he a scary motherfucker! Go cash your pension! Shit! We're clear! Let's get off this thing! Set up the gear there and we'll drop through the street! That's it. You gotta go. No shit. Let's get cracking, man. Unless you're feeling at home in this fair building. Hey, you want to sign with Trevor? Feel free. Man, I was just fucking with you, dawg. Let's do this shit.
Drivers should be meeting us out front. Man, we going. We got fans. Us out front, right? We getting out of here. Get out of the way. You gotta go, Fed. Let's do this. Corrupt ass bitch. Out of the way. You're in our way. Ah, crap. Where's our driver? Over here! Come on! Oh, it's the ambulance! Move! In! In! Before they see us! Come on, man! Hurry! Don't discharge your weapons! We want them to think we're a legitimate paramedic crew! We might be getting away with this! All right, all right, we're clear. Frank, I told Les we could use your place for a post-mortem. Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Boom, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kids' college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey, good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi-sort of serious. But joking, once you reacted like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this, they probably gonna pop him anyway to clean up loose ends. And if they don't, he got a homeboy named Trevor that probably will. That's a good point. I ain't gonna have the time to spend it, so enjoy. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. We can joke about how screwed up your damn life is. Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? I'll take care of it. Hey, come on in. <laughs> Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Any longer, I was going to torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking <laughs> it! Hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. Here. Shit. We did it! There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with. Me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dawg? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dawg. Take care. Man, it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! <laughs> Lester! <laughs> Lester! I forgot all about that, man. Hey, y'all, this is it, man. I had fun with y'all. But... This is it, man. No, 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 no. This is it, y'all.
Hey y'all, I really, really had fun with y'all today. I'm glad I'm able to get back to streaming for a minute. Ah, man, been working so hard, but um, yeah, man, I had a good time with y'all, man. Hey, y'all don't forget, man, please, man, support my live streaming, man. That's um April the 11th. Me, Ned, and Lamar that play Slink, man. The link is right there, Fresh Drip, uh, my moderator just put it up there, he put it up there again. Man, click on the link, man, please click on the link, support your boy, man, get you a, 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 a autograph picture from me, order you one now so I get my, my, my stuff together so I know if I even want to do it again. Um, but other than that, man, I appreciate everybody for just coming out and hanging out in the chat with me. Um, this keep me going. It, this keep me wanting to do it because you guys come and y'all hang out, man. Y'all hang out with me and this, this goes a long way with me, you know. Um, I got to start learning how to, um, promote me doing my lives a little more better. Like give people a two or three day a, a heads up because I'm only going to be able to do this, I think, twice a week because of my work schedule um but yeah man um i enjoyed this man i had fun with y'all fresh drip i appreciate you man everybody show love to fresh drip please man everybody give fresh drip his 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 heart man everybody heart fresh drip and um man let's um let's keep this going man um I appreciate everybody, man. Y'all remember, man, keep God first. Um, always have faith, man. Always have faith in no matter what you're going through. Uh, um, Harley Quinn, man, I send my, my love to you, my prayers to you. Keep the faith. Um, just ride it out. It's a wave. Everything is a, is a wave. Um, it's a roller coaster. You know, life is like a roller coaster. It's up and it's down. And then you have your good, your fun moments. And then you have some sad moments and some screaming and scary moments because of the ride is so deep. But um, just just hang in there, Harley. If you need me, you know, I'm going to DM away. I'm, I'm going to be streaming again. Uh, I would like to stay in touch with you so we can, you know, Stay in tune so I know how you're doing, how good you're doing. Um, and anybody else that's dealing with anything, man, I've been there before, you know. Um, stress, um, just peer pressure, just anything like that, man. I'm just a DM away, you know, or a private message away if you need anything. But please read my book, um, The Game Changer, and you can see what I went through to to get through the depressions, the problem, the stress, the the wanting to hurt myself, wanting to do worse to myself. Um, I pray that everyone makes it through it. I pray that, that nobody goes through it, man. That's a, it's, it's a disease that some of us inherited through birth, you know, that any given day we cannot accept things like other people can accept things. I think no one should go through anything that's that stressful to make you just want to be depressed or make you just want to think bad thoughts about yourself or anyone else, you know. So um, it's not just to Harley Quinn, but Harley Quinn, I, I, I respect you and I commend you for uh, bringing your, your issue here to the chat. But it's also um, anybody, anybody here, anybody that viewed this. Um, man, just seek help, man. Find somebody that, that you trust, you love, a friend, a family member, or anyone. And just, if you're going through anything, man, the best thing is to talk about it. Discuss it. Get it off your chest. Don't try to talk to yourself. Talking to yourself about problems and trying to solve problems that you're having internally with yourself in your mind, your heart, your soul. Nine out of ten times, it won't go right. Because talking to yourself, you're doing nothing but venting to yourself. And yourself is like, it's the worst person to vent your problems to. Sometimes you have to just open up your problems to someone else and get their opinion, their hug, their love, their concern. Um, it could be anything they might want to do for you. Just, <laughs> just laugh and have fun with each other, man. So, um...
I heart anybody that's going through anything like that, man, any de any pressure, anything you want to do in life, anything you want to be in life, man, that's your choice. It's your choice. It's not my choice. It's not anyone else's choice. It's not. It's, it's, it's what you want to do. It's how what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. As long as you're not hurting nobody or hurting yourself, do what makes you happy. All right. Um, so on that note, man, please, you know, anybody that's going through anything that that views this views my um my streams, my streams are good and they fun just for uh, GTA playthrough related. But I'm here also to just talk to people. I'm going to start doing a segment, man, almost like a podcast, just to talk to people and hear people out because I might be that person that some people might want to reach out to and talk your problems with and maybe I can help you. Maybe I can, maybe I can't, but I'm willing to give it a try. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to start just doing a segment just for that. Just go live. I'm not going to play anything. I'm just going to um, hit my full screen um face and just look at the chat and talk to people you know um i want to start bringing people in i wish i knew how to bring people in live here so we can talk live to each other but um man just uh treat life like it does have a purpose and it's better than what you think it is because that's what i thought you know me being a a person that got addicted to pills, um, opiates. Um, the opiates is what really, um, brought on my issue, this disease that's called a mental problem. Um, because you, you, you taking them pills and you taking them pills and them pills make everything that you need to be dealing with in life that can be just a simple fix. It makes it go away and you hide and you put a bandaid on the issue. And you never want to put a Band-Aid on the problem because once you pull the Band-Aid off, that problem is still there. That wound, that sore is still there. Sometimes you just have to treat the sore. You have to heal it, you know. Don't put a Band-Aid on it. So, I mean, I don't knock anyone that's of age that has um, medication that the doctor give you because I'm not a doctor, a certified doctor or anything like that. So, Whatever medication that your doctor giving you to help with any problems that you have, you take them and you talk that over with your doctor. Do not stop because I'm saying this, but I didn't need medication. They, My medication wasn't pres prescribed to me. I just got hooked on pain medication from a toothache a long time ago. It's, it starts with a pain that you get or something you go through and they give you something and then it you you look for not just the pain to go away. You look for the pain and life to go away. So um, um, anyone that views this man, I'm working on doing a podcast. I'm talking on just talking to people, just trying to help people through these things. You know what I'm saying? So again and again and again, I'm here. I might not be right here, but talk to you. If you can talk to your parents, go sit down with them and talk to them and ask them for help. Tell them what you need to make you feel better. That's the first step. If they don't want to listen, go to a friend, a trusted friend. If they don't want to listen, go to a family member. If they don't want to listen, then seek help. Go talk to a, a minister. Uh, go to the doctor. Just go to the hospital and tell them what you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Or just find anyone. It might be somebody you met at a restaurant, um, at a local gas station that's real cool with you, you know? A stranger that you always just know, a neighbor that you just say, hey, how you doing? Sometimes them people is the best people to talk to that you can trust, that won't take advantage of what you're going through. So again, man, I appreciate everybody, everybody for coming through, for hanging out with me in the chat. I really do. Uh, Fresh Drip, I always appreciate you. I appreciate everybody else that's in the chat. Again and again, man, hearts to everybody. Um, I will be back. I want to say maybe tomorrow, if not tomorrow, will be Sunday because uh, Saturday I definitely have stuff to do, family oriented type of stuff. But I definitely will be back so we can finish this up and get the big one done. All right. The big one. All right, y'all. I applaud y'all. I thank y'all. Prayers to everybody.